Today we're going to be looking at how to perform a load test in a wiring harness and for that we're going to need some alligator clips, a multimeter, a lamp, and screwdrivers and side cutters and some pins that you can find in your girlfriend's sewing kit. So let's say that you have a problem with the sensor that corresponds to this plug. You have checked the voltage, everything looks good. You have checked the ground, everything looks fine there as well. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is to take a lamp and perform a load test. If you have some damaged wires, like this one, that only hangs on with a couple of strands, a load test will burn them off, and like so, you will find your problem. So, how do we start? We will start by examining the plug and having a look at the wires, and we can see here that we have a blue and a white one, and also a black one. We're going to check the blue and white one because that is probably the signal wire up to the ECU. So we're going to trail this, follow the wiring harness, and here it comes again, right there, and it goes into this plug. So we're going to remove it and take the plastic cover off. The next step is to take our multimeter and set it to the summer function. Then we will take our pins and our alligator clips, put them together. And then we connect them up to the multimeter. Then we want to make sure that we have the correct wire in the ECU plug, so we're going to mesh the continuity in them. And here in the ECU plug you can see a pink bar, we're going to push it outwards because that is a lock that to keep the pins in. Take our wire and pull it out. And then we just take the multimeter and double check that we have the correct wire. So next we're going to hook the lamp up. I have simulated a problem in this wiring harness. When you're doing this in the car, you can use the car battery, but here I'm going to use a jumper pack. So we connected up one lead from the lamp to the positive of the jumper pack. And then we have connected the other lead from the lamp down to this plug. So it's going to send the current through the wiring harness up to here. So then we connect this end to the jumper pack negative. And then we're going to connect it up and jiggle the wiring harness around to see if there's a break in the cable. Looks like we found it. 
And that's how to perform a simple load test. Uh, I always use an external power source because I do not want to use the ECU's own power source for this. And now that you have found your problem with the wiring, you can just solder a new wire between this plug and this plug. And this is how we perform a simple load test in the wiring harness. And the idea behind this is that the load from the lamp will probably burn off the strands in the wiring if they are damaged.